This meeting is being recorded. All right. Welcome, everyone, to the 2022 Chassa Ice Hockey Preseason Rules Meeting. We're glad to be joined by Travis Howell, who is our new CHOA president for the upcoming 22-23 season. Uh, very happy to have him on board. He's taken over for Joe Novak, and we know uh, that he's going to do a great job. Uh, we've got, we're going to go through some of the rules changes for you in this meeting. Um, we'll go over some points of emphasis and some situations as well uh, that, are, that are upcoming for this season. If you have any questions that you might have for Travis, uh, he will be able to answer those for you. We're going to have a preseason coaches meeting uh, on Thursday, November 3rd. That'll be at 6 p.m. We'll send out meeting details for that. Travis will be on uh, that meeting. He'll be able to provide you with any uh, additional information or answer any questions that you might have. Uh, so want to get this meeting going and, and make it as uh, quick as possible for you. Just one note, as you're watching this video, Travis and I are having some audio difficulties hearing each other. Uh, so if it seems a little bit odd at any point, that's the reason. But at this, at this time, I will turn it over to Travis and he will go over the, the, the rules. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you. And thank you, Justin, for the intro. And uh, welcome back to another season of Chassa Hockey. Um, we're going to run through these rules very quickly. There, there are just a few changes. Um, I think most of you will, uh, on two of the changes, um, it makes sense. And, and I don't believe there should be any um, confusion on them. And one of them is this first rule. Um, if during play, there's any situation where um, anything ends up on the ice while play is happening, or if we hear a whistle uh, in the stands, or if there's, we've had laser pointers in the past, um, being shown on it sh shined in uh, players eyes or the officials uh, we will stop play immediately um, and the face-off will happen at the nearest dot on the sheet um, where that whistle to end or to stop play happened um, this is simply to make it as fair as possible for everyone um, especially if we're unable to identify um, the party who did throw something on the ice or was blowing the whistle in the stands. I think this rule for all of us is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's kind of a big change from what we're used to with USA Hockey and other rule books uh, that players and uh, play under and officials officiate under. Um, if a puck goes out of play for any reason during play, um, in the offensive zone, that puck will stay in the zone. That is regardless of who it goes off of, if it's a direct shot from the attacking player in that zone, that puck will stay in the zone this year. And again, as you can read the rationale, there are those times where it may be very difficult for officials to uh, pinpoint exactly which player or which stick it, the puck did go off of but it will include now a very obvious uh, shot out of the rink from the attacking player. Again, I think this is a very minor change to the rule um, as play is happening. If there's a puck that ends up on the ice, that is an unofficial puck, right? The, the puck that's not in play with the players. Um, once the officials on the sheet identify that there is another puck on the, on the sheet of ice, we will stop play. Um, and then just reset the play and do a face-off at the nearest face-off dot where play was stopped. Here's just a good example of uh, the situation that may come up or does come up uh, during games during the season where the new rule will now have that face-off inside the zone, uh, regardless of who that puck touches last and goes out of play. I'll briefly touch on this as well. I think this is a good carryover from the USA Hockey rule book. I think most of the players are either playing on a team that fall under the USA Hockey rules or are in a hybrid USA Hockey rule book such as CPHL. Again, the focus on body checking that's going to carry it into the Chassa season will be on the body check that is meant to uh, separate the player from the puck, which means separating the puck from that player and immediately gaining possession, either the 
person delivering the body check or uh, an immediate teammate. We want to really focus on keeping the players safe and removing those hits that fall into charging or uh, possibly boarding. We want those hits to be um, clean with the sticks down. Again, um, just a bridge from the USA Hockey Rulebook in order to keep players safe. Um, for this slide, and I believe the next slide, just as a reminder, once the chassis season starts, if you're on a penalty kill, you are allowed to ice the puck. Uh, officials who will be working the games are going to do their very best to make sure that players are in the proper position for each face-off so that face-offs are as fair as possible for uh, both centermen. Um, icings will be um, during uh, full strength play, icings will be called from behind the red line. Uh, again, I know there are situations where um, some of the officials do look to give a little bit of leeway as players are coming to the red line, but an icing is actually called or should be called if that puck has not made the red line. And we will make that a point of emphasis with our officials this season. Um, again, offsides, it is a touch up offsides in chassis season. We will do our best as officials to ensure that our linesmen are in good position to call offsides, as well as to communicate the uh, delayed offsides during game. And again, oh, and again, thank you. Uh, and again, we're, we really want the game to be safe. Officials responsibility and our goals is to have a safe, um, smooth running game each and every game for players, coaches and parents. And then one more reminder, I know that each season we have a situation that arises during a game, please, please, please make sure that your goalies have certified goalie helmets. Um, we will be talking about this at the start of the season in, in coaches meetings, but as soon as we talk about it, and I think moving past this uh, presentation, it, it should be the responsibility of the players and the coaches to make sure that their goalies have the certified helmets. Uh, we don't want someone getting hurt having a non-certified helmet. So please uh, talk to your goalies and, and make sure that they are uh, following the, the safety guidelines of having certified helmets. All right. Thank you, Travis. Really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, I appreciate it. I look forward to working with all of you uh, in my new role. I know I know a lot of uh, the coaches here in the Denver area. Um, I believe that my contact information is now available. If you have any questions, concerns, um, would like to talk about something or even set up a meeting, please let me know. I, I'm happy to, to help facilitate anything to make this uh, season a good experience for players, for coaches and officials. So Thank you all for what you do, and I look forward to the season. Thank you, Travis. Really appreciate you taking the time uh, this afternoon to, to record this rules video. We look forward to a great season. Uh, and again, we will have a, a meeting at the end, uh, or sorry, at the beginning uh, of the season on November the 3rd, Thursday at 6 p.m., where Travis will be on to answer any questions, and we will cover everything that you will as coaches need to know for the start of the season. So look forward to having you on that meeting, uh, and we'll uh, go from there. So thank you, and uh, good luck this season. Oh, right on. Cool. Thanks, man. I'll talk to you soon.